Hello everyone, today I would be discussing the first problem of core forces around 930. It was organized by the forces community. The problem name is Suffolk Party. Let's get started. Let's see the formal problem statement once. You are given an array A, A1, A2 up till AN. Initially, AI is equal to I for each I in range 1 to N. The operation swap K for an integer K greater than or equal to 2 is defined as follows. Let D be the largest divisor of K which is not equal to K itself. Then swap the elements AD and AK. Suppose you perform swap I for each I equal to 2, 3 up to N in this exact order. Find the position in the result position of 1 in the resulting array. In other words, find J such that AJ equal to 1 after performing these operations. And an integer X is divisor of Y if there exists an integer Z such that Y is equal to X into Z. And there are multiple test cases around 1e4 test cases and n is in range from 1 to 1e9. Like moving on to like formally defining the problem statement, like we are given an integer n and the array is initially 1, 2 and up to n. And swap k operation is defined as d first get the largest proper divisor of k. Proper divisor of k, largest proper di proper divisor is defined as one of the divisors of a given number which is not equal to itself and since we need the largest one we can start from d equal to k minus 1 to 1 and if the current d divides k we return the number as input like this loop will definitely terminate because like the smallest number is 1 and 1 divides every number and swap k is defined as given an array a d is the largest proper divisor of k then we swap a k and a d a d we can simply by reassigning like ak to ad and ad to ak like this is python notation over here it's and like you can also use a temporary third variable to swap operations swap numbers over here Okay, like the lighter is not completely dark. Basically, I was writing swap operation. And like the final algorithm for get one given and n can be defined as a equal to 1, 2 up to n. And for i equal to 2 to n, call swap operation with a and i. Like here it should be a comma k. And at last, once you are done with all the swap operations for i equal to 1 to n, if a is equal to equal to 1, return 1. like and because all the elements are distinct in the original array like only one index will satisfy ai equal to 1 and we can directly return it and it's supposed to exit because like there would be one in the given array now let's look at a working example for n equal to 10 like original array is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and when we call swap to operation like then the divisors of 2 are 1 and 2 and the largest proper divisor would be 1 in this case so we will swap a1 with a2 over here. So like this 2 would come at the place of 1 and 1 goes at the place of 2 and updated a would be 2, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if you notice like right now 1 initially 1 was at index 1. Now 1 is at index 2. Moving further working example like if when we call swap 3 on this array like the divisors of 3 are 1 and 3. And the largest divisor of 3 which is not equal to 3 is 1 in this case. So we will again call swap a1 with a3. So like this 3 comes in front and 2 moves back. So like the array becomes 3, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now moving further like if we try to call swap 4 over here like the divisors of 4 are 1, 2, 4. And the largest divisor which is not equal to 4 would be 2 in this case. So we will call swap, we will swap 2 and 4 over here. So 4 comes here, 1 comes there. And our updated error becomes 3, 4, 2, 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if you notice now the 1 has moved from 2 to 4 over here. Let's try to solve it further. Like 3, 4, 2, 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is the array. When we call swap 5, the divisors of 5 are 1 and 5. And the largest number over here would be 1. So we will swap a1 with a5 over here. So 5, 4, 2, 1, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is the updated array. 
now when we call swap 6 the divisors of 6 are 1 2 3 6 and the largest one which is less than 6 is 3 over here so we will call swap a3 with a6 over here so updated array becomes 5 port 6 1 3 2 7 8 9 10 and the divisors of 7 are 1 and 7 and the largest one less than 7 is 1 only so we will swap a1 with a7 so like 7 comes to the front and 5 goes at the place of 7 so array becomes 7 4 6 1 3 2 5 8 9 10 and you will notice that the position of 1 has not changed in any of this array it's it's at position n equal to 4 it's at position index 4 only so far now the thing starts tricky when we call swap 8 operation the divisors of 8 are 1 2 4 8 and here we will like the largest one which is less than 8 is 4 so we will call swap a4 with a8 so in this array like this a gets swapped with 1 over here because 1 is at index 4 and our updated array becomes 7 4 6 8 9 7 4 6 8 3 2 5 1 9 10 and you will notice that now 1 has moved from index 4 to 8 and now if we look at divisors of 9 which would be 1 3 9 and swap a3 with a9 will give us like will bring 9 at index 3 and 6 at index 9 and swap 10 will have like divisors of 10 are 1 2 5 and 10 we, here we will swap a5 with a turn so like 3 will come here and 10 becomes close there and so far you would have noticed like the places where 1 was at index 1 Then one was at index. Then one was at index two. Then one was at index four, and now one is at index eight. And the next time, like the next number where like eight would be the smallest divisor would be when like the would be sixteen. You can verify it over here. And like so, like now an bold claim. Notice that the position of 1 is always at index of power 2 to the power k for some k over there. Initially 1 is at index 1. Then 2 is the smallest number with the largest proper divisor as 1. So swap 2 moves 1 from 1 to index 2. Then 4 is the smallest number with the largest proper divisor as 2. So swap 4 moves 1 to index 4 and so on like the story repeats. Once we realize this, we can skip all the other swaps and focus only on one. And like our algorithm becomes position of one is one, while the position of one is less than equal to one. The next position would be when the current position is multiplied by two into pos one. Like this is the smallest number which has largest proper divisor as pos one. Because like this is the second number which gets divided by pos one over here. And the first one is pos one itself. And because we cannot take that as divisor and if the next position becomes greater than l we make a break statement otherwise we assign pause one as the next position we had and at last we print the value of variable pause one over there okay proof and like as mathematical exams are is left as an exercise for participants like it was like the, this video was more about realizing like how the moment is happening and all the things editorial will have an explicit proof and you can try to attempt it on your own and the hint to prove it like you should try it principle of mathematical induction over there and like if you have try you can try attempting it in the comments and if your proof has some some for, for flaw or something then i will try to correct it over there so this essentially completes my small editorial or i would say like a waving demonstration of how the problem is working over you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching.